My interests lie in how we project our own memories and myths into woodlands or trees we may have grown up with. Shadowlands is a pinhole photographic record of the south docks of Cork City. The central theme of my work draws on our individual and collective memories as people, families, communities and as a nation. Commercial billboards reflect a new era in China's economy and the opening up to external influences of other cultures. When relationships between countries are good, then we can exchange our art, we can exchange our trade. And I'm so pleased to be in China Central Mall because this is the kind of location that it's great to bring art into. Delicious oysters. We immediately we just want to taste, <laughs> make us hungry. Also strawberry was handed by thread. It's great uh, creative works. Well, China Central Mall itself, it's in Gomao, and it's a high-end retail mall. People can come in, walk around, look at things, engage with it. It's very bright, very colourful, and it's also got kind of serious messages as well, underneath all the sort of fun. One of the great things about working in China at the moment is to see how much China is changing and how dynamic the economy is and how dynamic society is. It's great to see that and it's great to be part of it. Good evening everybody, it's a great pleasure to be here with this very exclusive group representing the Embassy tonight at this exhibition featuring work from the Crawford School of Art and Design and from the Tsinghua Academy of Arts and Crafts. Events like this are very, very important in building the relationship between China and Ireland. Debbie Dawson is an independent glass artist who also teaches at the Crawford College of Art and Design in Cork. We offer fine art, art and design education, art therapy and media communications. We hope that after today some students will be interested in coming to study in Ireland. Having a large space to work in allows you to be uninhibited about the sense of scale in your own work. When you've got a space as big as this, you're almost encouraged to think big and work big. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we're at the National Centre for the Performing Arts for the setup. The room is quite an interesting room, slightly difficult to hang because it's oval, but it looks out onto the main space, which is a wonderful sort of arching space of the egg, and has natural light that comes in from there. This exhibition is a mixture of artworks, 3D work, video installation, and 2D, both painting and photography. And it's the first time that there's been an exhibition of Irish art here, so it's a significant event. It gives me enormous pleasure to be here tonight in this magnificent venue for the opening of a celebration of Irish culture in China. This event is one of the highlights of the two-week Beijing Irish Festival organized to coincide with St. Patrick's Day, Ireland's National Day, which falls later this week on 17th of March. And I very much hope that this art exhibition will encourage you all to further explore visual arts from Ireland. The theme is landscape and memory. It's quite intimate. It's engaging with the artist's backgrounds, with where they come from, tiny little garments hanging on the wall and the large garment hanging, which is connected by a ball of thread from the heart straight onto a map 
on the ground. It's very passionate stuff. Shanghai was a very busy few days at the Hua Shi Hualong Gallery, Shenling Gallery, and Shang Art Gallery. Shang Art is one of the most important contemporary art spaces in Shanghai. And we were making our proposals for next year, doing an exhibition of glass art, of doing an exhibition called Bag, using an exhibition space in conjunction with a retail mall where we would run an art trail through the bag store. See, Beijing, Wang Yili, welcome to Beijing. Oh, welcome thank you, back. Bruce. It's a pleasure to be back. And here I am talking to you at 798, and I think it's going to be the first time we've had a lot of Irish artists come and show at 798, especially when they're showing with their Chinese colleagues. Originally, 798 was an area where artists were actually working. Today, 798 is a gallery space. Which gallery are you actually in? Simmons is a famous company in, in, you know, in China. They're doing lots of culture between China and Europe. Simmons Center is, is, a, is a space of very important. The Irish and Chinese do a lot of work with texture mm -hmm. and have maybe a great eye for detail. Mm -hmm. So when we bring the work together, we can see that certain themes emerge. Our love of landscape, our connection to our families, mm -hmm. uh, Gaoyuan's 12 Moons, which is a wonderful series of mother and baby photographs. This idea is coming from when I go to Europe and uh, I saw the painting in the church. It have a Renaissance, Madame the Child. I never see this kind of painting. The baby don't have clothes. And I feel so lovely. We don't have these kind of things in China. I creative think, oh, maybe I have a Chinese Madame with a baby. <laughs> Art's important in everybody's lives. Design is important in everybody's lives, whether they realize it or not. And so one of the things that's very, very important for us uh, as an embassy is to ensure that Ireland is contributing to some of the thought processes that are going on in China. And through the medium of the visual arts, that we're able to present Ireland as a modern, dynamic country, which is able to offer something to another modern, dynamic country.